to wait for some people. All right. Let's get some people into the into the class. Welcome everyone. Let's see. Let us know where you're from. Have everyone here. We hope you will have a great afternoon with us and uh, follow along. Just give me a shout out. Let me know where you're where you're where you're coming from so we can show. So we're gonna have let everybody have a little bit. Yeah, hi Chicago. We're gonna have some people coming in, and then we're gonna start. Um, we're gonna have, have a good day. Uh, six different faces, six different designs that Stacy is going to present to us today. And let's hope that we get some more people. Hey, hi Charlotte. We got Alabama, New York, my neck of the woods. Good to see everyone coming from all over the place, huh? That's good. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. We've had some really good, I've seen some um, interesting things that are being posted with Michaels. Thanks for your support. Um, everyone's out there. All right. So what we're going to do is I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jeannie Breedy. I am the marketing director um, and I am overseeing uh, Snazaru here in North America. Um, we're really happy to be able to bring to you this fun session today. Um, we really want to um, impress upon you that obviously safety and, and, and is our number one priority. And obviously in these difficult times, we just want everybody to really abide by the rules. And I think we're gonna give you some clever ways to enjoy Halloween. So whether it's safely in person or virtually, um, I'm going to introduce to you Stacy Ringseth and she has six models that we're gonna be showing you today um, six different designs that are going to be made, face painted with Snazaroo face paint. All right. So, um, Stacy, why don't you take it away? And we have Hello. you uh, tell us about yourself and uh, we'll keep it going. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Stacy and I'm from Color Me Cutie Art Studio um, and Face Painting. And today we're going to teach you how to paint um, some faces for Halloween. Uh, we tried to pick some um, designs that we felt were, um, uh, you know, good designs for most children for your typical Halloween um, uh, costume. Sorry, I've lost my words um, for costumes. And so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to switch my camera over to my model. And let's go ahead and give, this is my model Mia. And um, make sure my camera is on here. And then we will go ahead and get started. All right, so huh. Stacy's gonna be using Snazaroo kits. That's gonna, so we're gonna show you that you could create many different designs um, with some of these wonderful palettes. So. Why don't you, we're going to start with, which face are we going to start with today, Stacey? Um, I'm going to start with the ladybug. All right. And um, I'm sorry that I'm out of the camera view, but you'll see my hand in a minute. And, um, but I'm going to be using the, um, I think this is the ultimate, the ultimate pack. The ultimate party pack. Yep. That's what we're going to start with. So if, if you want to, if, if it you can get it to the with, camera. It comes with sponges. It comes with all of these paint colors. If you guys can see that. Um, there's sponges. I've actually um, cut mine in half, which I recommend that you do. It is easier to um, lay the paint. But they come, can you hold these sponges in your hand? Thank you. They come round like this. And you just take some scissors and cut them right in half. Um, you don't have to, but it also comes with, um, with some glitter gel, which is really fun. And it comes with two, two brushes. And it really does give you everything you need to paint a whole bunch of faces. So um, there is a large sponge and then there's three smaller sponges in this kit. This is the large sponge and I have cut it in half. I'm going to um, use my sponge 
So all of these face paints are um, water-based paints. And I've just taken a little spray, um, a spray, um, what do you call it? A spray bottle. Spray bottle. <laughs> And I just spritz the paint with wet with water, okay, just plain water. And then I spritz, I spritz my sponge with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to come into my red, just like this. And I'm rubbing the paint in, as a sponge into the paint. And this is why I cut the sponges in half, because it gives you um just the right amount of paint okay and i just scrub it into the paint palette right there and then we're going to create a mask shape so the angle of my sponge this angle right here is the perfect angle for leading you into the shape that you want okay if you hold your sponge just like this it's going to lead you into the shape right above the eyebrows and we're just going to pull the sponge around the eye in a circular shape. Turn your head a little bit. And up and around the eye in a circular shape. Okay? Just like Stacey, that. Stacey, do, do you have a picture that you're, uh, that we were showing before, like the models could show before they come in so we could show them what, what, what we're going to create? There you go. What we're painting. All right. So it's it's in a mask shape. It's a ladybug, which we also said we want. It's it's it will work to be COVID compliant, and you could still wear your regular face pack, which we obviously encourage you to do during this uh, Halloween. Right. Really so important thing. Coming around her eyes, and I kind of tap the sponge. By tapping the sponge, you're getting a soft blend of the colors onto the skin. Now this paint is safe enough to go over the eyelid. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see how bright that is. That's, it's a really pretty red, really, um, typical red color. You know what yeah, I mean? It's a, typical. it's a, they're saturated colors. Um, uh, Michael's has a, a really nice assortment, not only to the kits, but they also, we also sell individual palettes and then, you know, there's going to be, even you can see in the background, there's some brush pens as well for applications. But you can see that we're going to have it's obviously it's it's safe for sensitive skin. Um, the product goes through rigorous testing, not only um, from the from the manufacturer Snazaru, but um, that's based out of the UK, which is really important. We take a lot of pride in that, um, and it goes through a very rigorous testing through Michaels, so to ensure that there's uh, safety um, measures that are being upheld. So it's safe to put on, sensitive skin, easy to apply, smooth, and actually easy to remove as well. But we're, we're only gonna put you, show you how to put it on today because we're a little pressed for time. In an hour, we're gonna do six different faces. Now, if you get away from yourself with your sponge, the best thing about Snazaru is that it is easy to remove. So I just take a baby wipe and because it's, it's moist, um, and I come around and I just wipe the edges. Let me get my finger on there, right? Wipe the edges right off. You can clean up your mask shape. And you can see it just very easily removes from the skin. And this is a way that you can um, ensure your shape is correct or the way you want it just like that okay and now i'm going to use one of their um their they have these face painting brushes and they, they come in all different colors um, this one is black and what you do is it has a brush on the end I'm gonna come in her neck where you can see this. Um, it has a brush on the end and on the end, you just twist it until the paint starts to come out of the end. And then I just take a little plate or this is a little plastic palette and I just mix it into the brush and get the shape that I want on my brush. So 
it's it's a flat shape. Um, it's a nice it's a nice brush on the end. And what I'm going to do is come in and put in the the black dots that you um, that you see in your ladybug. Now, Stacy, those brush pens are sold separately. They come in sets of three. Um, we do have a brush that comes in the ultimate party pack. If you wanted to, you could have actually used a little brush as well mm -hmm. to create those shapes, the circular shapes and the designs that she's making. Cause we give you, there's two different size brushes that are in there as well. But we just wanted to let you know that there are other easy, easy ways to apply. This is a really handy tool. They are very handy. You can use the brushes inside the kit. I just thought I'd get a little fancy and um, show these. Now I'm doing these um, these little dots in different sizes, and that's going to give this face just a little bit more um, design element, a little bit more excitement to the to the design when you have them in different sizes. So we're just putting little half half dots around the mask. And you can see how really it's very easy to uh, apply the paint onto the skin with this brush. Already, that looks super cute. Right. Nat, how does it feel um, on your face when she's putting it on? I'm sorry. It's very smooth. Um, it goes on. It goes on really well. Um, there's no. Really, there's no. Um, Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to come up with my words today. Um, it's just very easy to use. I, um, I, if you're using a brush, um, Sandra also has a brush set. It comes with three of these brushes. There's a flat. There's two rounds. And in the kit that you get, in the ultimate kit, the brushes are both flat brushes. So I would, I want a round brush for my next step. Um, so I picked up that other set of brushes, which is sold separately. And I'm going to go into, I just got it wet in some water, and I'm going into the black. And let me show you, you add a little bit of water, and you just kind of rub your brush in the paint. And you're going to build it up until it's a uh, creamy consistency. And I just keep adding a little bit of water. I'm dipping my brush in my little water container. And you see how I'm building that up and it becomes this little pile of paint. That's what you're looking for, okay? And that's how you load your brush. I'm just rolling my brush. And then I'm going to add some little swirls. Actually, I'm going to outline this first. So you want to outline. And this paint goes on really smooth. It's very smooth. Yeah, you have you have nice coverage. So yeah, you can see it's really op coverage. it's opaque where it's covering her, you know, through a good part, it's covering over her eyebrows. But once again, it will not, it's very, it goes through, there's a lot of testing. It um, is very safe for sensitive skin and it washes off easily as you demonstrated. But it looks like once you frame it, then we're gonna probably put some enhancements with some um, antennas and some swirls yep. um, to finish her off. And then we'll move on to our next face. Now I've outlined it, and now I'm going to add a few little swirls and some dots. And as I'm going, I'm continuing to add a little bit of water to the paint and continuing to mix it up as I go. I'm going to add a few little dots here, and then I'm going to do a swirl right down on the cheek like that. And then a couple of little dots. 
and voila. I'm going to add a little bit of a white highlight and then we will be done. So same thing, I'm using a round brush. I'm loading um, water into the, the paint palette and I am mixing it up to make it a creamy consistency. Stacy, also when you're done, um, just they 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 dry they dry and they get reactivated with the water. So there's multiple use that you could get out of these sets as well, right? Yes, absolutely. These do dry. They last for a very long time, um, is, and um, all you do is you just re-wet it with water. I mean that's it. And um, Right. It's key to also, yeah, you're making some accents, but after you're done with like your applicators, the, you know, the sponges and the um, brushes that you should just wash them out so that they don't break down. Right. The yeah. You want to like wash your brushes, um, you can wash them with, with um, water, soap and water, just, you know, mm -hmm. I would use an antibacterial just because um, that will help with um, keeping the brushes clean. The sponges are the same thing. You can use soap and water on those. Rinse them out and then let them sit out to dry. Um, and then you can use them again next year or whenever. <clears throat> and there you go, you guys. That is our first design. That is the ladybug. The ladybug. Looks fantastic. All right, thank you. Like we're going to move on. What do we have coming up next? Okay, let's do we have? All right, she's coming. All right. Thank you, Darla. What's the, what's the face that we're doing now? This is Michaela, and we are going to be doing this. Oh, this is great. So she's going to do this purple spider, which looks fantastic. Um, this was actually um, um, in an email that I received today that um, to give you a step by step. So um, I just want to reiterate. So we're going to start out. We're still using the ultimate party pack. Yep. Right. With Michaela and you're going to create the purple spider girl. Now I could be using they have the smaller kit also. Um, and this this one has uh, it's basically purple, black, and white. So um, those are the colors you need. And they do have smaller kits that you can get um, at Michael's. Right. And those kits, they're, they come um, in different themes. Like you can see from the background, there's a Halloween theme. The palette's a little, it's more um, conducive to Halloween designs. And there is an, um, an adventure kit. Um, there is, a, um, there's also a kit that has more, um, colors that would be more conducive to, to doing princesses and, and girl theme type things or, right. or feminine. So let's start out. Same thing. So I loaded my, um, my small sponge in, um, this is a shimmer purple, just like I showed you in the beginning. I just added water and kind of lather up the sponge. That makes sense. And I'm going to use the straight edge of the sponge to shape out my design because I want it to kind of come up at an angle. And this is a sparkle color, a shimmer. So uh, it's really a pretty color. And I'm going to come around and I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping to add the color. And reload your sponge as necessary. One thing I'm gonna I'm gonna interject is that you're close to Michaela's hair, and this paint is safe for hair as well. Right. Because obviously you're putting over eyebrows, but you can go right up to her, um, yeah, her, her her hairline on this to get yeah. really good coverage. And it's it's this one is a you said a it's a more of a sparkle, more of a glimmer that you're using. Shimmer paint, you can kind of do the shimmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so there's. There's matte colors and there's also um, sparkle colors and there's also glitter colors that are available in, in that ultimate party pack, but also within these kits and they're all available on michaels.com. So again, I'm just tapping. I think that my lighting is a little bit better with that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, I'm just tapping it down and creating a shape 
and I'm going to go right over her eye. And then I'm going to come onto the other side and I'm going to bring this up. Hi, okay. Stacy. We have some questions in the chat. Oh, sure. And they're just asking what are the three sizes of the brushes that you're using again? The they're more the shapes. They're, they come in a kit. I was just gonna, I'm just putting that answer in the in the chat. They are um they're three brushes, they're different shapes. Um they come with snazaroo. They don't have a particular um I don't think that the kit shows the sizes of them, but wasn't there a, a flat around? in your little kit, they, they're sold separately. There's they actually one. do have sizes on them. Oh, this, sorry, my bad, there's um, a little one. This is a flat brush, it's, it's flat like this and then it's squared off, right? Um, and this says it's a number three. The other, the other, um, then you have a larger, a larger round brush and this is a number two round. And, and then you get a smaller round brush. And I would consider this a nice detail brush. And this is a number one. So now when I'm painting, I have a, a little water container next to me that, um, that I use to rinse out my brushes between colors. Um, and it's just like, you know, you would have if you were painting a painting. You want to have all your stuff ready to go. You have a bucket of water or a cup or a, some kind of a container with water in it because these are water-based paints. Um, Michaela looks like she has, has a feel, Michaela. She's got a funny little expression on her, but you're going to look great once she's done. She loves getting her face painted. Yeah, this is a lot of fun for her. So this is a really cool purple that she's coming up. And thanks for um, putting in the sizes of those brushes. Um, they are sold separately in a separate little kit. Just one of the, the um, set has different size brushes in them. And one other thing I just want to tell everyone that um, this class is being recorded. It'll be available in 24 hours. So we're going to continue to keep going through. Stacy's been been um, you know interjecting, giving you lots of tips and colors, but it's all recorded for you to go back and refer to. And it'll be available in 24 hours. Um, and the classes, um, you can find the information at um, michaels.com backslash classes. And I'll put all this information in the chat. So I'm using the larger round brush from that set. Did you hold this one, Michaela? Thank you, And um, I'm gonna come up right here from the inside of her, of her face. And I'm just gonna draw a little swirly line. And I'm following that shape that I put down. You can put any shape you want, but kind of following that shape to kind of almost outline it. But I'm creating a spider web effect. And so I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw some lines and they're all gonna come down and create this spider web effect. So wide at the end and they kind of come all kind of come in and meet, right? And then when we come around the eye, I'm going to come right here in the, in the um, corner of the eye and I'm going to bring a line down like this, back to the corner, bring a line down back to the corner and bring a line down. And then when you see her face forward, you can see those lines on the cheek. And then back up here where there's this empty space, I'm just gonna add another line that comes up and meets up with this one, okay? <coughs> so you don't have to put your lines in exactly the same spot that I'm doing it. Um, and it depends on the face that you're doing. Everybody's face is shaped a little bit different. So I'm gonna put the little webbings in now. So I'm just gonna put these little U shapes to connect each of these lines to make the web. Now I could use that um, paintbrush that 
that, uh, oh, what's it called? Sorry. The I don't brush know. pen. The, the brush, brush pen. pen. Thank you. The brush pen. I could use the brush pen for this. Um, sometimes that is a little bit easier, but this works too. If you if you get the ultimate pack, then you have um, the ability to do so many different spaces all with one pack. I mean, there's just hundreds of combinations of designs that you can do. So there's one side. And then the other side, basically the same thing. I'm going to come up. I'm going to bring a little one into the center, a little swirl. And then I'm going to come up and meet this color. Uh, I'm kind of outlining where I put the purple. And then I'm going to bring in these web shapes, just like this. And I'm basically just drawing some lines that come in and they meet up into the center. I mean, it's really pretty uh, simple. You don't have to have any real skill to do this. Um, Stacy, all the face paint, all these step by steps are, are available. Um, not only are you going to see them as through this recording, but um, on our official Snazaroo website, they yeah. have every step by step. And Michael's has also posted many of the face designs for you to go to under their um, under their projects for kids and their boredom busters. So they're available to, to for reference. You could print them down. So, and yes, you could adapt these. These are just um, recommendations that we're making, but you could adapt the colors because we're getting a lot of questions about that on the feed. Um, one of the other options, it could be a red, it could be a red spider. That's why we, we're just trying to give you some, some options, different colors. Yes, you, can a, get, you can get very creative with these um, and make them your own. I mean, they're just, these designs are really versatile in a lot of ways. And if you notice, I got a little fingerprint on her forehead because uh, I put my finger in the paint, but that is not a problem. I just come in, you got one here too, just come in with a baby wipe and you clean up all your little spots and then look at that, how pretty she is. Now I'm going to get some um, white and throw in some highlights. Yeah, can okay. we show, can, does Michaela have the picture of the spider girl that we started with? There you go. So what we'll do is we'll put that out for the next one. So we'll keep that out. Yeah, maybe we could put that out behind it as they're painting along so they could see the progress. Um, one of the other things that someone asked, which is a really great question, is um, when you are doing a face painting party or there are multiple faces that you're creating, how do you sanitize or disinfect your sponges and brushes between? Is it just, is it? Um, I usually add antibacterial soap into my water. I add a little drop. That's all you need in your water. Um, and these paints are already safe. Um, and I take a spritz bottle with, um, with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and I spritz my paint palette. So I take, if I'm, you know, if I have my ultimate kit with me, I just take my, my little spritzer. I have a separate one that has um, just some rubbing alcohol in it. And I just spritz my paint and it will, it will air dry. You know, it doesn't hurt the paint. It doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't cause any problems with the paint, uh, but it does help with sanitizing, you know, when I reload into the paint with the, with the brush that I've already touched the skin with. However, the paint, Snazaroo, the way that the paint is created, it already has an element of um, antibacterial um, 
product in it. I don't know what you call that, Jeannie. What do you call that stuff? The I don't know the word, you guys, but um, what were you asking? I was just doing the chat. What was the question? The there's uh, there's something inside the paint that oh, they're hypo, yeah, they're hypoallergenic. So what's happening is they're safe for sensitive skin because they go through testing. We don't obviously test on animals. But um, yeah, they go through some really rigorous testing, um, as I said earlier, because it it's made in the UK, which is really important. Um, and we really stand behind the product. You know, they, there's a um, seal that gets put on at the factory. Um, when you're getting the product, it is, it is put in a vac form and there are these plastic seals over all the colors that can be reused. Um, but they definitely get activated, like I said, with some water. All right, so let's put, are we done with our yeah. close to this yeah. one? Because we have, we have yeah. quite a few to go. Come up a little closer, sweetheart, and show them. So we've got this. And then you can add, um, you can always add a little bit of glitter um, that comes in the kit. I won't do it for time purposes, but um, it's just a, um, uh, it's kind of like a gel-based glitter and they're super pretty. Um, and so now we've got Hallie coming up. And on Hallie, we're gonna do a pumpkin. We're gonna do the pumpkin face. And this is super fun for all of your harvest festivals and things like that. Did you put the pumpkin face on that little, where you have it in the back so that we could see it while you're creating it? Is it possible? Is there a space on top of the Snazaroo product so that people could follow along so they could see, they join us to see where, um, perfect. Yep. Yeah, so we can see it's a little, yeah, that's fine right there. All right, she can, yeah, or she can hold it and then really show. It. Can't really see it, I'll have her hold it up. Here. Yeah, we'll hold it when we get close. There you go. So when she's done with it, perfect. So when we get close, so what we're going to do, this one's another one. We've been giving you suggestions um, or presenting designs that are conducive to wearing face masks during this particular time of the year with COVID so that you could be compliant and safe and you know, obviously practice your social distancing. But um, these are all can be worn with masks. And then we're going to have a couple, which are going to take a little bit more time, um, that show full face or a lot more face. So this is a pretty, I'd say this one's a, would you say they're all pretty similar in terms of this mask design, black outlines, you know, some white accents, um, minimal colors are being used. So like I said, it's something that these sets, um, many different designs can be created with a lot of these sets. So, you know, great tip about the sponges. They can be used round or in your case, you know, you cut them into different shapes to give you angles, which is great. But this is a fun orange. Hallie, how does it feel? <laughs> Tickles? Is it cold? It's cold. Cold and wet. <laughs> and then how does it, but it dries rather quickly and it dries matte as well you know like it dries so and it it really doesn't um smear as much i mean obviously um so if the kids can wear it for you know a couple hours it doesn't need to be reapplied would you say right. the same experience it's been it, it sets nicely on your face and you don't need to put down any types of foundation or face you know any kind of uh um, prep before it, you know, just clean, clean skin, not too many oils. And I would recommend that you don't have any lotion on the face, um, as that can um, affect the how the paint lays on the skin. Okay, so the the mask shape is exactly the same as we did with the ladybug. There's absolutely no different in the shape, um, and they do that to make it you know easy for you easy for the um for the face painter and i'm just gonna i'm taking the flat brush and i'm just gonna create a little stem here on our little pumpkin and i'm using the green that comes in the kit You can add the little, you know, the little shapes of the um, pumpkin. 
you can get you can get as fancy or as simple as you want with this design. That's why I like I like this design for that reason because you can you know you can fancy it up if you want to. It's like some there are many of these kits um, have small portions. Um, but the yield is really dependent on how much coverage you're going to, and the, 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 the complication of the design or how intricate it is. But on the average with these, there's, you could have face painting parties, you could buy one kit and you can clearly, would you say on a, if you're doing math like this, would you say, you know, roughly you could easily get, I would imagine, upwards of 30 plus faces out of it. Probably more than that, but yes, we can do quite a few faces with one kit. Um, and, and Stacy, from your experience in face painting, because you're a professional face painter and you do many of these consecutively, um, how long does it usually take for the, this type of mask design to dry? Like, you know, to dry just a few, just a few minutes, not very long, um, and. Once it's dry, if you, as long as you're not, you know, you're not touching it, um, it will, it, it doesn't smudge, it won't go anywhere. Um, so, you know, you can see these colors are pretty vibrant. Um, I'm going to come up and outline my stem. And I've got one of the other things that that we when we chose these designs, you know, you have a you know have a great touch and you're a professional face painter, but they are not you know, the, they, the way that they're presented. There's three easy steps, and like I said, with guidance, with parental guidance and permission, right. they can be um, you know it's fun for it's a family fun activity. Even the kids could get involved and even paint their own um, faces because we we chose some of them that have been uh, a little more simplistic, but we're gonna get into a, another one that's a little bit more complicated that has more of a face coverage before. Um, right, exactly. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter to her. So I'm using, they have this, um, in the same kit, they have this, um, it's kind of a shimmery, clear shimmery color. And I'm just gonna throw some right up here on her forehead and you may not see it on the camera, but uh, I'll try and, and show you. Um, oops, I got paint. Got paint on her instead of glitter. I'll try and show you that it it actually it really adds to your design when you add a little bit of glitter around it. Oops. But see, when you do things like that, I mean, it's good for me to to show you that you can all you have to do is just wipe that off and it comes right off. And no foul, no harm, right? Is that how you say No harm, Looking no foul. Good, Hallie. There you go, sweetheart. And that's, it's as simple as that. There you go, baby. Thank you. Looks great. And who do we have up next? Um, and now we have Liam coming up. And Liam is going to be a sugar skull. So now we're going to get into a little more complicated full face coverage design. Yeah. Yes, this is a little bit more complicated, but like Jeannie said, you can find the step by step on the website. It walks you through every step. Um, and it's very, it's very, uh, I don't want to say it's simple because, you know, if you've never painted before, sometimes simple sounds not simple, but if you follow the steps, you can achieve the same thing. Let's put it that way. You can do this. I'm going to use one of the sponges in a um, without cutting it in half. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make it, you know, not cutting this one in half. I'm gonna use it in its round form. And I've just loaded it with white paint. Now, one thing I love, I absolutely love Smazaru's white paint for this very, for this very thing. Because, how am I getting paint all over myself? 
have paint all over myself. You guys. Um, <laughs> I just love that it is so soft on the skin. I use their white paint um, for zombies, for skulls, for all kinds of masks. Um, because once you apply it, it is so soft. It's like it's almost a powder form. It's really, really, really smooth. Um, and the coverage is really, really awesome um, when you're doing sugar skulls and things like that. So I'm, again, I'm just tapping my sponge and you can see how nicely it covers. If you want it to be a nice, heavy, white, solid white, or if you want it to be a softer white, it's the amount that, of pressure that you put on your sponge that determines um, how much paint. So see how this one's softer? I don't know if you can see that. Scoot up just a little bit closer. So this side is a little bit softer and this is more of a heavy coverage. And I have to apologize for my lighting um, I hope that you guys are seeing. seeing actually I, great that Liam stepped in closer. So when on the next base, if we want to do that, that's actually really good to like zoom in a little bit to show that coverage. Yeah. Um, so, you know, some detail as we put more detail on the face. Um, all of these designs in this particular class is getting recorded. It'll be available in 24 hours. Um, it, so the same way you enroll, you could find these at michaels.com um, backslash classes or on their homepage in the top right corner, they have classes and it'll direct you to this. This will also be on their, um, usually the class recordings will be directly to their YouTube. And this is gonna be a great reference for you with uh, Halloween and 11 days and counting, I guess, then we have um, lots of options. Now we're using children um, of different ages to show, you know, in terms of convey, you know, that the faces, you know, obviously are for children and that they're safe and uh, you've got great coverage, but it works on adults, it works on everybody in the family. So everybody can take part and um, enjoy and be part of the fun for Halloween. So whether you're doing it virtually or out, out and about, there's plenty of um, designs. And even if you just wanted to do something simple with some of them, it's, you, you know, you could, these are just our designs, but you could, you could create what you'd like. Exactly. And matter of fact, I um, mentioned that I do zombies with this white. Um, I every year I do a large amount of adult zombies and I use this paint on their faces. And um, it's a production that's done here locally. And um, and they have to wear it for hours and hours. So um, that's why I love this white because it it stays soft. It's like I said, it's like a pow it's almost a powder. Um, once it's applied, it's not sticky. It it almost is like you're just putting powder on the face as a as a matte finish. Um, one of the uh, viewers is asking why we're doing a full face. We certainly want you to encourage it. You are going out, obviously you have to wear a mask. Um, but what we're saying is not, we want the, the, the designs that we have aren't just about that mask. So we just wanted to show you some diversity. So obviously be safe, but uh, we just wanted to give you some more creative ideas. And this will be a full face coverage. There you go. So, so I'm going to use the um, heat pen to do the inner, eye pocket um, and I'm going right over his eyebrows and I follow the shape of the of the eye and again you can do this with the brush um, or you can do this with the sponge either way works um, close your eyes. And I'm going to cover the inner part, you know, the, the lid of the eye. You can see how smooth this goes on. It, it feels wet, but it dries to a matte finish that is really comfortable. Am I, I mean, right? 
Leanne, it, it's very comfortable to yeah. wear. Um, they they run around and do all kinds of things wearing the makeup. Okay, turn your head this way. And again, these um, paint pens are just, they just make your life really easy. You twist and then you, I'm using kind of a little plate to use as a palette. And um, that kind of helps me to mix the paint in the brush. Now I'm at a kind of an angle right now. So um, it's a little bit awkward when you're recording to, um, to do these faces, but these kids are my regulars, so they know they know what to do. Now I'm going to make sure that my shapes are matching. This. And that's pretty good right there. You see? Yep, that's pretty good right there. And then we're going to add the, um, this sugar skull has like a little scalloped orange around the edge. So I'm going to take that larger round brush that came from in that separate kit and I'm going to load it with some orange paint. Sam just spotted himself on camera. He went like, wow, <laughs> you are, you look kind of, you look scary. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to keep going along because we're, we're getting close. We're going to certainly run over. Apologies for that. So please stay with us because um, we will go past the hour. Um, and we want to show you a couple more faces after this. So well, all I'm doing is I'm just adding a little scallop shape. You could just, if you wanted, you could just outline this black circle. Um, but I'm just putting, I'm just tapping the brush down and it makes these kind of these rounded scallop shapes when I tap. Nothing fancy. There's no, you know, it's not a technical um thing so i just tap see i'm just tapping my brush and it's making these little scallops and you come around you're basically kind of outlining this black with the orange just to give it some design right And I'm, I honestly, I'm not really being all that precise here, you guys. There's, you don't have to be perfectly precise. Oops, I mixed a little black in that. You just want to make them, you know, seem even for both sides, right? And that picture for me again, baby. And then let's add a nose. Just cleaning my brush out there. <clears throat> okay. So the nose is just like a little, it's like an upside down um, teardrop. So you can see that. Upside down to your drop, kind of sit forward a little bit. And so I use my brush, I hold it like this, and I kind of draw that shape on the bottom, and then I kind of pull the brush up to a point. Just like that. You can make it as big or as small. Um, I usually tend to go small first, start small, and then work your way. 
so that it it's not you know you don't want to start big because you then have to remove it so hopefully you can see that i'm going to lower this camera a little bit that's a great angle so you can really see what's close and you did have your hands on in space and you're it's not smeared and someone asked about smearing and like i said the one thing about it is you can go back and touch it up you could wipe it down with just some water and you know and you could reapply it which it's really um very it's, it's just as you'd like as you'd like so it's really not that rigid you could just go along and uh, see where the design leads you so you're gonna have to you're, you're looking pretty scary there liam <laughs> i'm going to add um the, there's a little um either red shape on his chin so i'm going to go ahead and add the color to that start and i'm using the um one of the brushes that comes in the ultimate pack it's a flat brush and I'm just going to create a little triangular shape that comes off of the mouth right here. And then I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to create another triangular shape that comes off the mouth. Like that. And then fill it in. This just kind of gives the spider web a little bit of background. Um, color, and then I'm going to add red. To the center pieces. The so same brush I just rinsed out. Red. And then red. Oops. I went into the blue and that's okay. I just reload my brush, go right over. Now it is going to be a softer color when you go over white paint. Um, and that is just the way it is when you are painting with, you know, over white of any kind. That's just how it is. Um, okay, so now I'm going to add some of the details. Uh, let's do let's do the mouth. So I come right out of the side of the mouth. Here, come closer. I come right out of the side of the mouth, and I just draw a little smile line, and then some um, the the teeth. You see the picture? Yeah. I just draw some lines to indicate that there's teeth, right? And then we come on to the other side, same thing, smile line and some teeth. I need to add another one to make it even. Okay. And then we're gonna do the spider webs on the chin. And then I'll do the um, colored teardrops at the end. Now you can paint right over their lips. It's not going to hurt them. Um, it is not, um, I mean, I wouldn't recommend that they eat the paint, but it's, you know, I mean, take a bite out of it, but it won't hurt them if it gets in their mouth. Um, I'm going to draw some little spider webs, swirls. off these sides and then in between each of these you got to get the smaller brush how's everybody doing so far so good is anybody painting along with us did have someone it looked like that in the beginning, but uh, yeah, I feel like most are just observing because this is one of those things that you don't want to miss it. But like I said, the face painting guides will be available um, both on the Michaels website. Um, they'll be under their kids craft section. 
It'll also be available on official SNASRU, our website. Um, we have a multitude of different designs um, for whatever your, wherever your creativity leads you. Um, this, these were kind of the fan favorites that, uh, you know, we kind of surveyed some of the kids and with Stacy's experience, you know, that were, were popular. So, um, like I said, this is just guidance. You could go off and, and create and do different colors as you, as you wish. One other thing I want to, you know, like let everybody know, we're getting close to, we have about five minutes to go and then we're probably going to run over a bit, is that we will, um, this is getting recorded. It'll be available for you at um, uh, michaels.com classes, backslash classes. Um, and, and also, um, you could, once you're done, we'd love to see your creations and put the hashtag, I, which I put in the feed already, hashtag make it with Michaels or hashtag official snazaroo and uh, share your creations with us. We'd be uh, really um, interested in seeing what you created. And um, also at the end of this class, there'll be a survey that will be sent to you in the next 24 hours. Um, and you could just give us some feedback of what you thought um, about the designs and the class, the product, and then, you know, stay staying is not just for Halloween. There's other activities. They're great board and busters. Um, you know, when we're, you know, for different parties, there's lots of summer cat activities. There's definitely themes that you do throughout the year. Um, birthday parties. Uh, like I said, once we things hopefully get back to, to normal, lots of festival activities and things like that. So, and I'm sure it's Stacy, that's where you make um, yourself known through all these different events. Mm -hmm. it's, so. so now I'm just adding some, some little, um, what we call teardrops, where they're thicker on one end and they lead up and taper into a point. Um, and you can decorate your sugar scroll any way you like. Uh, for time purposes, I'm going to just stick with the same color um, and so that you guys don't get bored, but um, but you can, you know, switch up the colors, add, I mean, sugar skulls are very bright and colorful. So I, I recommend that you, um, that you use all, all the colors you've got on this design. It's super fun. Um, and I'm just painting in some little um, teardrop shapes that are kind of coming up into the hairline. And I'm going to get some, let's do um, blue to match the bottom. We'll throw in a little couple of blue. And like I said, you can do any colors, mix and match. You know, it's your design. Um, and that's the fun part about this ultimate pack. That's another reason to buy this ultimate pack is that it has four, eight, uh, 12 different colors. Um, it has a large white and a large black, which is your typical outline and highlight shadow colors. But it also has just a, an array of beautiful different, um, you know, different color options. And okay, let's put in last but not least, I'm going to do this center. I know that our picture has, you know, like I said, it has a few different colors in the picture. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I, I have really apologized for the lighting here. But I'm going to put these center pieces in and I'm going to do them in red. Um, just because I think that you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So we just pulling some teardrops right down the center of the nose. You can add some dots. Now, obviously on, on the model of this photo, his, his forehead is a little bit of a different shape. His is a little bit more narrow, so I don't have as much space. And you need to be able to adjust based on your child's um, facial structure. 
Um, but there's no reason why you couldn't adjust, you know. Now I just take, um, like I said, you can paint the lips if you want to, but I typically just take a baby wipe and I kind of smudge a little bit the, the black paint and it just adds a little bit of color to their lips just like that. Oops, go close. Turn your head. You can see it's super cute, very simple sugar skull. And there we go. That's great. Well, we have, um, we're at three o'clock on the hour, and I know we wanted to do two more. Well, I would say that, um, you know, the other faces are going to be, because I think the dinosaur is a another mask. Yep. Um, and the tiger, I just whatever we think, if you want to do another let's, swift let's one. Let's go ahead and do our dinosaur, and, and then we'll wrap it. I think we'll call it good. Yeah, because we've, 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 we've kind of hit our three o'clock hour and then we appreciate people staying on if you'd like it. Once again, it'll be filmed to the end and available at michaels.com uh, classes. <clears throat> All the face painting designs that you see are available on our official Snazaroo website. And we also have um, lots of face um, painting guides available on the Michaels website as well for you to look at. Um, and like I said, this will be recorded and uh, available on the Michaels uh, website. Now, who do we have with us now? This is Little Hunter. Hunter. Okay, oh, Hunter is going to be a dinosaur. He's going to be a dinosaur. So this is going to be his face. Let me, let me show them the angle. And it is a super fun green mask design. And I'm going to give you some ideas for texture on this one. <laughs> we have a silly one here, you guys. We have a silly one. This is our silly boy. OK, let's start with, don't get up, don't get up there. <laughs> this is what happens, kids. It's real. It's real, people. This is real time. All right, Hunter. We're going to do some, we're going to turn you into a dinosaur. Yeah, it's real How about that? Dinosaur. So I'm taking a little sponge and I'm going to load it in green. And again, um, this is the same or similar shape that we've done on the mask already. Chin up, baby. There we go. Good job. Now, if you are doing younger kids, um, they tend to flinch a little bit more, and because they're they they are unsure of what's coming. So if you talk them through it. That will help be helpful. Um, so I always tell them, you know, I'm gonna gonna go ahead and start. Close your eyes just for a minute. We're gonna go right over the eyes, and then I let them know when it's okay to open. Not yet, but so I do one side, and then you can open. So far, so good. Okay. He's liking it. Hunter's liking it. Okay. Gonna do good, 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 good pointers, Stacy. that you're right, you know, that we're giving you uh, uh, lots of different ages that we're showing you. Um, and like I said, with guidance, with parental guidance or, or someone else that really, you could do it. Some of these kids could do it on their own, but obviously Hunter needs an assist here, but he's doing great. Love it. No, Hunter, actually, Hunter, you have painted your face before, haven't you? Yes, he has painted his own face, and I believe he's used Snazaroo, has he not? Absolutely, he has. He That's great. Love, love to have his face painted. All right. Okay, so we've got the green, and now we're going to uh, add some texture. So... Any brush, you guys, any brush that you have, if you want to use the brushes in the kit, that is fine. I am going to rinse this brush really well, though, because I want to pick up some yellow. So I'm going to load up this yellow, and this is a really pretty pale, um, pale yellow, and it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Hunter, lay back, sit back. Okay, so I'm, I'm just- Hunter, show us the picture of the dinosaur. Do you have a dinosaur picture with you? 
Show it into the camera. Oh, right there. There we go. So now we're gonna guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do some dots, and they're all gonna be different sizes right along the center of the face with this yellow. And again, you have to pay attention to your own, the child's face that you're painting because everybody's faces are different shapes, different sizes, but I'm just adding these little shapes and they're all different sizes, different shapes, right? And this is gonna give your mask some texture and make it look kind of like scales. Okay, so scoot them in just a little bit. Look at that, isn't that cool? Already it looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then we're going to, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some white. Oh, Hunter, you silly. Look at that, you guys, he is, he is a ham. He's working it, and you can see he's you're you're doing great, Hunter. You're not afraid. You like it. It's going to be fun, and it won't smear. As you can see, he's 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 active, and you're still doing quite nicely. I'm going to have some horns coming up, and all they are are like these. They're wider at the base, and then they they taper into like almost a teardrop teardrop shape. And I'm using white. <clears throat> Um, you can add two, you can add four, or however many you guys want. This design has two on the top and one on the bottom. Just like that. And then we're going to add the others. One up here, another one. <laughs> so, Stacy, I'm, I'm just going to finish up as you're finishing up, Hunter. You, I'm going to just talk through a couple of things. Um, all the steps, there's usually most of these masks designs, these face paint designs are usually broken down into three easy steps. We have videos um, that are available on michaels.com as well, um, also at Snazaroo. You can look at the step by steps. They, we have both formats available for you to look at. And Hunter's doing fantastic. Um, you could post your creations with us, share it. We'd love to see it at hashtag make it with Michaels and also hashtag official snazaroo. And I'm sure that Stacy would love to see um, your creations as well. And she has a Facebook, um, Color Me Cutie. One word is the name of um, how you can find her. And also on her website is colormecutie.com. So there will be a survey in, an, in a day that you'll be receiving and we'd love to hear your feedback. Um, happy to bring something creative that involves children, but this is family fun for everyone. Um, we want to encourage you to be safe when you're face painting, especially during this Halloween. Um, and know that, you know, we are um, very conscientious of the product and it is safe. Um, and uh, we just want to encourage good, clean family fun. Now you can outline those, um, those horns, add dots, whatever you'd like, but I think we're good. And so that's the design, and here's how it turned out. And what do you think? It looks great. I've got to outline the horns, I think, because you can't really see them, can you? All right, let's outline the horns, and then we'll close. I uh, just want to close and say to everyone, please, um, we encourage you to give us feedback on the survey and refer back to this recording in 24 hours. It'll be available on michaels.com backslash, backslash classes. And as I said, all of these um, step-by-steps are available um, on the official Snazaroo website. Um, I've included that on the feed. Um, also on the Michaels website, we have in both the Halloween shop, um, in the kids' craft area, 
Um, you can search for these different face painting guides. So we hope you enjoyed this as we wrap up this last uh, face. Hunter, you've been a great model. I want to thank all the children for participating and Stacy. And um, we hope we got uh, everyone encouraged to take it on themselves. It looks fantastic. So I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Have fun. Be safe. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a great day, everyone.